Majid Bafara an Algerian professional footballer who is currently unattached. He is a central defender, who can also play as a midfielder. Bafara began his professional football career with French club Goyagnon before having spells with English sides Crew Alexandra, Sheffield Wednesday and Charlton Athletic. Bafara moved to Rangers in the summer of 2008 for a fee of a £2.5 million. He made his debut against Falkirk in August of that year. Bafara made 113 appearances for Rangers and was a key part of the team that won the Scottish Premier League Championship in seasons 2008 09, 2009 10, and 2010 -11. In August 2011, Rangers sold Bafara to La Croix for a £1.7 million. An Algerian international since 2004, Bafara has won 64 international caps and scored four goals for the Algerian national football team participating in the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations, where Algeria finished fourth, and the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. He served as the team's captain for the 2014 World Cup. Club career, early career, Bafara began his career at AS Quetini in 1999, spending a season at the club before moving to local club AS Longvic. Goyagnon, Bafara joined French side Goyagnon in July 2002. Whilst with the League Two side Buffer made 49 league appearances and scored one goal. He also made a single appearance in the Coupe de la Ligue. Crew Alexandra, Buffer joined English First Division club Crew Alexandra on loan at the end of January 2006. He managed to get into the crew record books as his agent, Charles Collimore recommended the Algerian defender to the South Cheshire club and was given a £5,000 by the club making him the first agent to receive a fee from Crewe. After a number of impressive performances, including a goal in the 4 Euro 1 win over Coventry City, many of the club's supporters urged then-manager Dario Gridi to sign Buffera on a permanent basis. However, in April 2006, he confirmed he would leave Crewe at the end of his loan spell after failing to help the club avoid relegation to League One. Sheffield Wednesday Buffera's performances at Crewe had attracted interest from a number of clubs in England, including some from the Premier League. He signed for another championship club, Sheffield Wednesday, in May 2006 on a permanent deal. The fee was undisclosed, but according to then-manager Paul Sturrock it was not as much as the reported a £300,000. Buffera made a big impact at Hillsborough after making his debut on August 5, 2006 against Preston North End, winning the Player of the Month award in only his second month at the club and captaining the team for the first time against Queen's Park Rangers at home in October 2006. He also scored twice for the Owls against Ipswich and West Brom in the first half of the 2006-07 season. Charlton Athletic, during the January 2007 transfer window. Buffera was linked with several Premier League clubs. Sheffield Wednesday rejected AA £1.3 million offer from Charlton Athletic, whilst Reading, Everton and Birmingham City were also rumoured to be interested. Eventually the Owls accepted an increased offer of AA £2.5 million from Charlton for Buffera, who completed his move to the Valley on January 28, 2007. Buffera was linked with a transfer to West Bromwich Albion in the summer of 2008 after a transfer fee of A2.5 million pounds was accepted by Charlton. However, Buffera chose not to join Albion, saying that the absence of West Brom chairman Jeremy Peace during negotiations was a major factor. Peace commented that his presence was not required for the transfer to go through. Rangers, Buffera joined Rangers signing a four-year deal for a £2.5 million on July 31, 2008. He signed for Rangers on the recommendation from Adam Owen who worked closely with him at Sheffield Wednesday FC within the English Championship League. He made his Rangers debut on August 9, 2008 in a Scottish Premier League match against Farkirk, and scored his first goal on September 28, 2008 in a 3-0 win against Hibernian. After losing Carlos Gale copywriter to Aston Villa Buffera formed a consistent partnership alongside David Weir. Buffera was sent off in a 2 Euro 1 win over Aberdeen in May 2009 after a challenge with Jamie Langfield. 
The red card was reduced to a yellow upon appeal after the referee changed his decision after reviewing the incident. Buffer was available for the title decider against Dundee United the following weekend which Rangers won 3 a Euro 0, winning them the title. Buffer ended his first season in Scottish football by winning the Scottish Cup in a 1 a Euro 0 win over Farkirk. On September 12, 2009 Buffer was shown two yellows in the same minute against Motherwell at Fir Park, in doing so giving away a penalty. On September 16, 2009, he scored a solo goal in the 77th minute to make it 1 a Euro 1 against Stuttgart in the group stage of the Champions League, earning Rangers a point. The goal came on Buffer's European debut for the club. After playing for Algeria against Rwanda in a World Cup qualifier Buffer returned to Scotland two days late and was subsequently dropped for a league match away to St Johnston on October 17. He was late returning from international duty again in November after being caught up in Algeria's World Cup qualification celebrations. On May 3, 2010, Buffer was awarded the PFA Scotland goal of the season for his effort in the 7 a Euro 1 win over Dundee United in December 2009. Buffer missed much of the second half of the 2009 a Euro 10 season through injury but picked up his second SPL winner's medal after Rangers clinched back-to-back -back league titles in 2010. On September 14, 2010, Buffer was named as the man of the match in the opening group game of the Champions League against Manchester United at Old Trafford, with the game ending 0-0. On January 26, 2011, he scored with a volley in a 2-0 win over Hibernian. In March 2011 Buffer announced that he intended to leave Rangers at the end of the 2010 Euro 11 season after turning down a new contract. Buffer was fined a £2,500 by the SFA for manhandling referee Colin Murray during an old firm match in 2011. On August 3 in a Champions League qualifier against Malmo, Buffer was shown a straight red card for elbowing an opponent, which proved to be his last game for the club. Le Quaila. In August 2011 Buffer moved to Qatar side Le Quaila for a £1.7 million. Buffer made his league debut on September 16 in a match against Al Wakra where he scored the only goal of the match, thus scoring the first goal of the 2011-2012 season. In his first season with the club, he helped Le Quaila win the 2011 Euro 12 Qatar Stars League. Buffer left La Quaila in May 2014. Club career statistics, as of August 3, 2011, international career, despite being born in France and growing up in Dijon, Buffer opted to play for the country of his grandfather's birth. He first made his debut at under-23 level on January 2, 2004, in a 2004 Olympics qualifier against Ghana. He made two more appearances at U23 level in qualifiers against Ghana and Zambia. Buffer made his full debut in a FIFA World Cup 2006 qualifier on June 20, 2004 against Zimbabwe. On July 2, 2007 he scored his first goal in a 2 a Euro 2 draw against Cape Verde. His second goal came on June 20, 2009, a header from a free kick in the 2010 World Cup qualifier against Zambia which ended in a 2 a Euro 0 win, putting them top of their group. International goals, scores and results list Algeria's goal tally first, honours, Rangers, Scottish Premier League, 2008 a Euro 09, 2009 a Euro 10, 2010 a Euro 11, Scottish Cup, 2009, Scottish League Cup, 2011, Le Quaila, Qatar Stars League, 2011 a Euro 12. 2013 a Euro 14, Qatar Crown Prince Cup, 2013, References External links, Official Website, Majid Buffera Career Stats at Soxabase, Majid Buffera at National-Football-Teams.com